Once I finished my seaplane rating, Sarah and I took a flight just for fun where we took off from Lake Christensen in Telkina, flew over glaciers, viewed Mount Denali, brushed up on some mountain flying skills, and landed on this remote lake. All that, as well as Laura's amazing intro flight, can be viewed on my channel, and I'll also leave a link in the description below. On this flight, we take off, see a bear along the river, which is just so awesome, do some low-level river flying where we fly over a bridge under some power lines, see another bear just enjoying its natural habitat, a bald eagle soaring over the river, and even a friendly boater. After taking in the epic ambiance that is Alaska, we end the flight with a fun new approach for me and a glassy water landing. I hope you enjoy this video. Please be sure to leave a comment and some feedback for me on my social media. I always enjoy hearing from each of you. Please subscribe if you have not already, set those alerts to be notified when more content is available, and smash that thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. And we got good altitude away from the water, lowering the nose to 80 for the climb out. Thank you. Yeah. That was a very nice takeoff. Thank you. Look at the views. Neat taking off at the mountain right there. Then you kind of have your out right over here. No. Yeah. So are we just gonna dip down between this and our climb out, or do you want to slide right between here? Yeah, we're here that way. Okay. Pop down into the river. All right. You wanna do some river flying on the way back? Sounds like a plan to me. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Good altitude, good airspeed. Lots we'll coming off. Is there anything else in particular you'd like to accomplish before we head back? No, I think we did it. Good. Hey. It was awesome, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. I do appreciate you taking the extra <laughs> time just to chill and of course. These make my it happen. Flights. Do the fun flight. It's not over yet, so don't don't worry. Take it all in. Well, I can. I've been looking forward to coming back again. Yeah. Because you can't just come here once. There's no way. No. Nope. Oh, there's a bear down there in the river. Where? Yeah, he's like right underneath right turn. us. Oh, yeah. I see it. Did you see it? Here. Do you mind me doing a turn? Not at all. Alright, so looks like the train's clear around. I'm going to give it a little more power. Got a glimpse of him. Let's see if I can't get a good look at him. He wasn't. He doesn't look like he was getting scared away or anything. So he's not scared of us, huh? Was he right on the edge? He's just like right on that little tiny gravel bar right by oh, there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, oh my word! Got hey. good eyes. <laughs> Spotted him quick. <laughs> look at him just sitting there, happy as can be. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He <laughs> <laughs> just chilling. Just hanging out. Going for an afternoon swim. Yeah. And which river is this one? This one is the Chilitna. This is the Chilitna? Yeah. Okay. That was awesome. Thanks for spotting him. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted to, to see one. something. I know. I'm happy you finally got to so see now I saw a moose on my check ride. Yeah. And I saw a bear. On yep. my fun ride. Yep. Okay, you can't ask for more than that. <laughs> you were like, what more would you want? And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to say it's all good. And you're like, yeah, he wants to see a bear. And you're like, oh, right there. I told you I it wasn't one. over yet. And you're like, it's not over yet. <laughs> that was pretty neat, just seeing him just out in nature, out. doing yeah. his thing. It's really cool being able to spot wildlife from the air up here. Take a Alright, so we are going to be flying down this river. Um, once we get past this little turn up here, there's going to be a bridge that we're going to go over. Okay. And then we're going to dip down low. Alright. And we're going down the canyon, so it's going to be a bit more confined than this. Okay. This is where all the low-level and confined area flying we've been talking about all week is going to come into play. 
So remember when you're low level, you want to keep going as fast as you can comfortably control, so you've got the right. energy to get out of there if you need to. And all that coordination, you've been really well coordinated in this plane this whole time, but this is really going to test that, making sure you're, okay. you're staying coordinated. You're going to go over the bridge and then down to about mid-treetop level, because we're going to be going underneath some power lines. Okay. And when you go underneath them, make sure you don't look up at them, just stay straight ahead, flying, flying your airplane, okay. don't even look at them. Understood. Cool. I'm assuming if you look up, it gives you the tendency to pull up? Yes. Yeah, typically. I mean, obviously, you don't have to take yeah. it, like, super, you can glance up at them, <laughs> but don't, like, fixate on them. Right. The bridge that we're coming up to is about at our current altitude, you'll see it, you, can, you don't have to climb up or anything, but you can okay. just pop up and over. There's power lines over the bridge, just slightly above it. Okay. Okay, you see the bridge up there, this is a really good altitude, you can even, as you get closer, start prepping to descend a little bit. This is a good altitude though, just maintain this. And make sure you get those power lines and sights and everything. Yep. Alright, and then once we're clear of this, then we're going to descend down to about mid-treetop level. Gotcha. And pretty, not aggressively, but just swiftly get down. And get a little bit lower. Alright, a little lower here. And airspeed looks good, power setting looks good. Okay, I see him. Yep. Why do you see him? I told you not to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fixating, I promise. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now we're in the clear, just focus on flying your airplane, keeping it right in the middle. We'll bump you through here, so just, All right. just keep playing it, keep it in the middle. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, this is the test of everything we've been doing, all the river flying we've been doing. opens up again after this. Alright. That's pretty fun, right? <laughs> it is. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of fun the kind of flying I don't do back home. <laughs> hey what is this over here? That's a bear. Nice eyes. Yeah, that's totally another oh, bear. Oh, it there. is. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a nice shot of it. A little black bear. Yeah. <laughs> so nice and low to it too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Count that as two bears and one moose. There you go. I love seeing them on the river. <laughs> Just hang it out. Yep. Just enjoying their natural habitat. Yeah, good eyes. I learned from the best, you know. <laughs> this says a lot about your flying skills, though. People usually, if there's an animal on the side of the plane, then we never see it, because people are usually pretty focused. Yeah. Flying, it's hard to like look for stuff like that. From a little bit of a distance, I was watching him. And that's why I was like, "What is that?" Because I was like, it, "I think it's a bear, but it might just be a dog of some sort." Because <laughs> at first it didn't look that big, and then right. as you get closer to it, you're like, "Oh well, that's no dog." <laughs> and it's pretty big, yeah. Yeah. They do look like 
very crazy and they like dogs <laughs> from far away. They kind of yeah. move like dogs. Especially the black bears. They're a little skinnier sometimes. Right. <laughs> wow, so two bears. Not Denali. Oh, they so in awesome. the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I can see where you could maybe never want to stop doing this. <laughs> like, how in the world this would never get old, like, at all. Right? You see my this dilemma? This kind of flying is just amazing. It just it takes you back to the roots of all of it, like, why we like to fly so much. You know? Okay, oh. order two to Victor's about to stay for the golf for what next? Just cruising right above the river, viewing nature, viewing wildlife. It's amazing. The Bald Eagle? Yeah. That's so awesome. Good afternoon, Tokyo Radio, Radio, Footplane 734, Summit Delta's Highway Camp, inbound Christensen with Golf. Thanks, traffic, otter, short final. Well, we're also, thank you. Got a boater out there. I think that's the first one I've seen out there. Really? Yeah, I guess this river doesn't get a whole lot of traffic on it. No. Last year, this river, I would buzz people like every day because yeah. um, TRG, the um, Tokina River guys, they, they run tours where they have those big like inflatable rafts that they okay. took people on tours. Yeah, I so. saw some of those in town, but I didn't look yeah. like they were yeah, I, using them. I imagine they're either closed or not super busy this summer, but it used to right. be all summer. Just you see those rafts going up and down this river. Well, not up, <laughs> just down the river. Is he just a fisherman then? Like it. He's waving at us. <laughs> He's wishing he was up here. <laughs> could be a fisherman, could be someone who lives up north on the river or south, like on the okay. river. There's some people whose only access to town is through the river. He's going to go. It's looking pretty glassy. What approach would you like to do? Alright, so you got two options for glossy. You can land to the north, which is your most, the one you're most comfortable with, you've done a lot, or you can land to the west, which, did we end up doing that one time? I think you and Laura did, actually. Laura and I definitely did. Yeah, I never did to the west. Okay, let's land to the west, Okay. if you want to see it. So basically, at this point, I'm going to drop into a downwind for here. Do a right downwind to go on the far okay. side. Sounds good. Do a right downwind, get a good look over here. And if you'd like to circle another time, that's fine to see this approach a little better, because it's kind of very specific for glassy. Okay. So our last visual reference is going to be the island that's like right underneath us right now. It's really hard to see. It's like right underneath my float. That island is going to be our last visual reference, so we're okay. going to use this whole cove to descend through, and then we'll get the nose up. So basically you come over those trees at the end, cut the power to idle, nose down, get down to a decent height over the water. We still have our visual reference in front of us, because those trees are so tight, that line right. is in front of us. And then we can bring the nose up when we still have our visual reference, and then feed that power in to drop it down just past that island. Our go-around point is going to be essentially, if we're not on the water just past that island, we'll go around and climb out to the left. So okay. There's not a whole lot of room to work with here, so we want to be touching down just past the island. And I'm we'll be aimed good. right at Don Tanger on final. Alright, I'm going to do my four landings then. We'll Alright, you've got the final corridor in sight here. Yes. This is a more kind of aggressive approach. It's similar to the one we did over at Rockies going through that channel that you were really good at. 
very similar to that. We are okay. going to have to roll wings a little bit around the trees. Can you come to the left just a little bit? Okay, I see the passage now. Yeah. And we're going to do that good. dip over the trees then? Yep. Traffic. So, 9156 to Alpha will be taking off to the west on this way. This is looking good, looking good. Alright, pull All right. the idle nose down. That's about good. We've still got our visual reference out in front of us. Yep. Bring that nose up. Yeah, you did that really well. That's perfect. I didn't talk you through it. Usually, yeah, you need to bring in some power and just hold it off. It's like kind of yeah. like when you do like a spot landing and a pacer. And you just like hold it off, hold it off. Holding it, holding it, and then just set it in there. Yep, that was perfect. Beautifully done. Getting my seaplane rating has been a dream of mine for many years. Mixing my love of boating and passion for flying, just being on the lakes was no doubt all that I imagined, and more. For anyone thinking about getting their seaplane rating, I would highly recommend you do not hesitate and just go for it. Furthermore, I would suggest getting it in Alaska if at all possible. I cannot say enough good about Alaska float and skis. They gave us an experience that I will remember for many years, and we are already making plans to return. I hope you have a productive day and good success in all your efforts. Be sure to hit me up if I can help or assist you with anything, and until next time, May you have affable skies and favorable winds. It was pretty awesome. Pretty fantastic. Cool. Couldn't ask for a better flight. <laughs>